You're listening to the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. I'm John Stonge, and today we're in Zechariah chapter 12, and we'll be reading from the New Living Translation. This message concerning the fate of Israel came from the Lord. This message is from the Lord who stretched out the heavens, laid the foundations of the earth, and formed the human spirit. I will make Jerusalem like an intoxicating drink that makes the nearby nations stagger when they send their armies to besiege Jerusalem and Judah. On that day, I will make Jerusalem an immovable rock. All the nations will gather against it to try to move it, but they will only hurt themselves. On that day, says the Lord, I will cause every horse to panic and every rider to lose his nerve. I will watch over the people of Judah, but I will blind all the horses of their enemies. And the clans of Judah will say to themselves, The people of Jerusalem have found strength in the Lord of heaven's armies, their God. On that day I will make the clans of Judah like a flame that sets a woodpile ablaze, or like a burning torch among sheaves of grain. They will burn up all the neighboring nations right and left, while the people living in Jerusalem remain secure. The Lord will give victory to the rest of Judah first, before Jerusalem, so that the people of Jerusalem and the royal line of David will not have greater honor than the rest of Judah. On that day, the Lord will defend the people of Jerusalem. The weakest among them will be as mighty as King David, and the royal descendants will be like God, like the angel of the Lord who goes before them. For on that day I will begin to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem. Then I will pour out a spirit of grace and prayer on the family of David and on the people of Jerusalem. They will look on me whom they have pierced and mourn for him as for an only son. They will grieve bitterly for him as for a firstborn son who has died. The sorrow and mourning in Jerusalem on that day will be like the great mourning for Hadad Rimen in the valley of Megiddo. All Israel will mourn, each clan by itself, and with the husbands separate from their wives. The clan of David will mourn alone, as will the clan of Nathan, the clan of Levi, and the clan of Shimei. Each of the surviving clans from Judah will mourn separately and with the husbands separate from their wives. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for your word, and we thank you for the things that we can see in Zechariah's prophecy that relate to a future day when the tribes of Israel will recognize your son, Jesus Christ, as their Lord and their Messiah. They will look on the one that they have pierced and mourn for him as for an only son. But we're grateful, Lord, that there's such a thing as a godly sorrow that leads to repentance, that cooperates with your work of salvation in the life of those who trust in you. Lord, we pray for all nations, that each nation would come to know you through your Son, Jesus Christ, because we know, Lord, that there are many in this world that still have not received the gift of salvation that you freely offer through Jesus. We commit every person on this earth to you today. And we pray that you draw us all close to you. And we thank you, Lord, for the privilege that it is to walk with you each and every day. We thank you for all of these things, and we pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you again for listening to the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. For more resources to help you in your walk with Christ, please visit us online at DesireJesus.com.